Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I put a video about my response to domestic violence in Cassie and Diddy. Um, I'm gonna put a very transparent video. Um, I have been a person that have done domestic violence towards somebody else. Um, this was many years ago in my 20s. I was basically um, getting a fight with a person I was talking to. And before I knew it, we were going back and forth and I literally had my hand around her shirt. Um, and it, it was like I was outside, living outside myself. I was never raised that way. Um, had a brother that was abusive that way, a drug dealer. But that was definitely not in my DNA. Only thing I can say was it was domestic. It was uncontrolled anger. It was a lot of stuff going on, like I was being cheated on. And I just, um, I was smart enough to leave the house. Um, because I don't know what else I would have done. Um, I don't care if anybody watched this video or a job or anything. This is not something I'm saying just to be saying. I'm saying this for a purpose. If you are a person and things happen and you're not a person that just randomly just be a person, check on your anger, check on your mental health, check on the trauma of your childhood before you do something that you regret. This was what this is like 2008, something like that. I've been in church all my life. And to go to that extreme, um, is something I'm definitely not proud of. And in fact, most people do not know this. So for me to do this, I'm doing this for the purpose of, everybody can talk about Diddy and P Diddy and Cass said, oh, that's wrong, oh, but nobody meant when a situation happened. I've known people, they both was hitting on each other. And I'm not a person like, you're a female, you get the right to put your hands on me or you slap me or something. You don't get, you do not get the right to put your hands on me ever, not one time. I don't put my hands on you, don't put my hands on me. And some people think that's that's different. No, no, that's domestic violence too. If you hitting somebody or you attacking somebody because that person made you mad, that means you are out of control and you need to figure out in counseling and medication of how to fix that situation. Um, and because somebody beat on you, doesn't mean the next person did. I've also been in that situation where someone was literally beat on and they had this mindset that all men were the same. If you a person that been beat on and you have not received counseling, 
I strongly suggest you go get counseling because there is this trauma that you relive and if you're not careful, you'll try to put that on energy on somebody that don't even deserve it. Like if you've been abused and it was years ago, if you have not handled that trauma, you tend to repeat it or you tend to repeat some form of it. You may not go through the whole motion, but you'll put that trauma on another spouse. And that person is not even the same person that did that to you. <sighs> Gain control of your mental health and your stability is absolutely crucial. If you don't do that, you tend to repeat that stuff. So everybody look at Cassie or look at a pimp and say, oh, this and this. But a lot of people don't talk about the internal domestic violence just because you are a divorce is ending or you have a real bad relationship or you have gone way too far. Both you guys have. A lot of that happened more than you think. I'm happy to say that was many years ago, maybe well over 15, 16 years ago. And I'm not saying this to say something I brag about, but I'm saying that if you don't control the trauma of why you do your abuse, you tend to try and find it and give it to a person that cannot defend itself because of something you can't deal with. Domestic violence is a very serious thing and you don't have to be some born, born abuser being, you know, been being on people for years, it can happen out of nowhere. Catch your emotions before it gets too far. Any type of relationship. If you do not have control of your temper, get some medication, get some counseling, talk to something, see where your triggers are so you do not do something that you regret. So, that's all I wanted to say. This is probably something very real, but I would not have shared this if I don't think this can help somebody. All right, have a good one.